Welcome to the video everyone, my name is Murray. In the past I've done a lot of tutorials on how to do glowing animations in your videos and it's actually the top result in YouTube or online in general. Uh, there's a lot of videos that I've done, about five of them, and some of them have gone viral. And a lot of people have mentioned how long the process actually takes to create one of these videos. And, and I know, I've done a whole week for three minutes of video just because of how long the process actually takes. It can be a little frustrating. So I found a new solution on how to do that quicker, cheaper as well. And even if you don't know how to draw things or if you don't have a tablet to actually draw your animations, that's totally cool. This plugin is gonna be really awesome to help you solve that issue and do it in like half the time or even a quarter of the time. Real quick before we get started, there is a giveaway going on in the Discord server down below. There's a link, join the Discord community and uh, into that giveaway. It's $150 for an Amazon gift card. And uh, we're gonna have more coming out on the channel as well. All right, let's jump in. But first, intro. All right, so as you can see here on my screen, this is an AE Juice product. It's really cool. What I'm gonna be using specifically is 1,000, I nearly said 100, it's way more than that. 1,000 animated elements. It's super cool, crazy amount of effects in this pack. It's all in After Effects, so you don't have to leave After Effects as a plugin. You download the plugin for free and then you can grab this for $69. But there is a sale going on, you can get the whole shop for 200 bucks instead of 1,105. That's insane. You're insane, Jarvis! Currently it's on sale, it's almost ended, it says that over right over here, so jump on it real quick, there's a link down below, use that and you can grab this for 200 bucks, or just under, so jump on that. So you can see here I'm in After Effects, and when you've installed the plugin, you just go to Window, and you can go to AE Juice Pack Manager 3. Alright, so once you open this, it's a plugin, you don't have to leave After Effects, which is awesome. You can see all the available stuff, there's even some free packs as well, you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. But let's go to the Liquid Elements here, so if I open that, and then you can see there's a ton of options here. If I just scroll down here, you can see how small this scroll wheel is, I'm going to keep scrolling. And yeah, I don't know what I've been doing with my life. Where have these been? So you can see there's a ton of stuff here. So I'm just gonna drag this to the side real quick. If I drag in my video footage, and if I just scale this up to normal scale or normal size, you can see it's just a guy having some fun with his bike. Right, let's find an element that we wanna import. Okay, so I've got one selected here. And what we can do is we can just double click on it. It's gonna import it into our sequence here. And you can see a little intensive on the computer, but that's also because I'm recording but you can just do a RAM preview as well before playing it. So you can see it's got its glow there. Initially, it doesn't come with its glow. I'll show you how to adjust the look and everything. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to reposition this and I'm gonna scale it down whilst holding shift here. And you can see if I just do a preview here, you can see there's the first initial part of it, right? So that looks cool, but obviously there's a ton of options in this pack that you can layer it. So for example, let's select this one and I'm gonna hold shift and just for just for tutorial sake, we're going to select those ones, right? So I can drag all of those in at once. And once those have imported, I'm just going to hide 
all of the top ones just so I can work with them one at a time. So with this one selected, I'm going to get the center of the anchor point on the wheel. And let's say I'm happy with it. I'm going to adjust the other one as well. And hypothetically, let's say that I'm happy with the look, but for the tutorial sake, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. All right, obviously this is a hot mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in on, on, on my timeline and I'm just going to stagger these a little. I don't want to have them happen all at once. Some of them maybe, but not all of them. position these and make sure that they're where I kind of want them. Okay, so once I've repositioned and scaled these, I've also staggered them so they don't appear at once. And we can take a look at the example here. That's pretty epic. Now, obviously you don't have to limit yourself to just these effects. You've got a ton, a ton of stuff. You've even got water streams, which I mean, it looks like something else. Now, there's a lot of other techniques you can use to make these look unique and pretty awesome. So for example, let's let's grab some fire because you know, let's light the bike on fire. If I, with, with this one selected, I'm going to click the settings button here. You can see that there's a ton of options here. You've got the glow option. You've got, I don't even know what you want to call these. Look like there's an 8-bit version here. There's a glitch version. I mean, it's insane the amount of options here. Yeesh, this is actually cool. Let's select this. So I'm going to double click that. Now that's going to be applied to all of these. So I'm just going to drag that in. Now it doesn't seem that this effect will work as well on fire. So let's just delete that. So with this one selected, I can just drag and drop it in. Let's get this guy out of the way. And you can see, if I just scale this down a little bit as well, look at that. We've completely changed the look of it. Now you can obviously change the color of it. Let's go blue. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It doesn't suit this, but it still works in a lot of other scenarios. One other thing I want to note, and I think is pretty cool, Let's go back to the glow here. So if I double click that, let's go ahead. You know what? Actually, there's a fish here. And I think this is pretty cool. I used to have a fish in my videos with glowing animations in the past. And I show you how to actually create those yourself. But let's say you want to use this one. Because I think this, the movement of this fish is actually more realistic and it looks pretty cool. All right, so you can see the fish is jumping in. Now, obviously it's white. Let's change the color. So let's do the bottom color here under the tint map white two and let's do let's do kind of blue right looks pretty cool there's your glow animation you've done that so quick and easy look how awesome that is the new glowing animations and i didn't even have to draw this out you can see this pack has a lot of awesome tips and tricks and some great effects to make your videos look pretty awesome keep in mind this plugin isn't just limited to these effects so if i just click the x here on the liquid elements like I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of other stuff. So feel free to use the link down in the description. Check it out. There's a ton of awesome things you can use. You can also use these on your stream. So if you import them into After Effects and use the dynamic link into Premiere Pro, if you import these into After Effects and use the data, so if you, you, if you import this into After Effects using the plugin, then you use the Adoda. The, oh, yay, yay. I, I, I cannot do it. So if you import these into After Effects using this plugin, then use the Adobe Dynamic Link into Premiere Pro, you can export them with a WebM file and you can actually use them on your stream. So you don't have to limit this just to editing. So if you enjoyed, subscribe, stick around for the future. Remember there is a giveaway down in the description in the Discord server. It's very easy to enter. It's free as well. Instead of joining that, $150 up for grabs. And uh, yeah, a lot more coming in the future. I do a lot of streaming, editing, visual effects. I'm most likely streaming right now on Twitch. Come say hi, link is down below. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.